We found some toilet paper. It's limited on. one per customer. Oh, did it? Yeah, it's limited one per customer. Holy crap. So I'm pretty sure you looked at us and kind of discriminated. Oh. It is seven in the freaking morning. Let me just tell you, I am not a morning person. A little early for us. I'm a narcoleptic. Yeah. Paul, what's it's your excuse? Oh, no, don't mess up my horrible hairdo. Yeah, like I said, when you guys see me with this headband, it's a bad hair day. And since we're in quarantine, it's been a ha bad hair day for, for a month. Yeah. For me too. I was gonna say like you beautiful. really just called me out saying my like hair has beautiful locks. All right guys, so what are we doing this fine early morning? Well, we gotta get more supplies. The last time we really did a big U-Haul at Sam's Club was like literally March 1st. Exactly the day. So we have to go back out there again, such as getting toilet paper, which is really difficult to find and other objects as well. Don't get me wrong, we still have lots of supplies at home, but this is just to finish up some odds and ends so that when the virus gets even worse, we really don't have to leave. Yeah, so pretty much there's no supplies. So we gotta go during the disability and senior hour at Sam's Club. And that's what we're doing, and we're gonna take you guys along for that ride. Now I have talked to other Spoonie Warriors out there, and they've told me their experience with the disability hour and senior hours and oh, let's hope everything goes good because recently we also went to academy for Paul to you know stock up on ammo and uh, I tried really hard at the sports store not to get mad oh we, yes that was, that was funny while we were there in line because they're letting like only 20 people in the store at a time I asked the associates while we were waiting, like, hey, like, when do you guys have disability hour? When's your senior hour? And then they were like, we don't have that. And I was like, oh, really? That's unique and different. They are like, yeah, we don't get a lot of disabled people here. Right there, Paul was like, he had to swallow his soul back into his body before he went off. I was in a really good mood, so I felt like I could approach the situation in a reasonable nice way so i just told him i was just like actually you never know who's sick if you look at me and him you couldn't even tell we had any issues so you couldn't you shouldn't discriminate and just base things off appearance there are such things as invisible illnesses um yeah they ignored me they literally ignored me they just looked at each other and just started their own conversation i was like well, whatever that doesn't bother me but at least i educated but paul was like this close to go to the manager. I was about to be like, let's get the manager, let's start some sensitivity training. So, for those of you who do not know what the disability hours are, some stores are doing early hours before the store actually opens. They dedicate the store hours to people who are disabled, uh, immunocompromised, as well as senior citizens. So, this helps because the store was supposedly just cleaned, mm -hmm. everything is clean and there's less risk of contamination. They're not gonna allow as many people into the store. And as again, it's just an extra precaution to make sure that we all stay safe. All right guys, like again, we're going to Sam's Club. We do have a crazy uh, sanitization protocol. We go into the store as little as possible. So this camera right here will not be going, but I will be recording on my phone because the only things I'll have on me is Maybe my wallet, maybe, and not even, and just my phone. And yeah, if anything, well, I'll give my cards to Paul and to keep it more safe. Because we want to go the extra mile to make sure we're not touching things we shouldn't. Our face, nothing. We keep it uh, nice and tight. I'm telling Paul to be a bad little boy. He had a son earlier. I don't mean it like that, guys. I mean, like, run the light. Run it! We need groceries! 
Paul feels like there's a lot of people there, so let us go see them. We came to a, a Sam's Club that's a little bit more in the touristy area. Yes. Hoping that since, you know, no one's traveling right now, there will be less people here because there's mm -hmm. fewer locals in this area. So uh, that's our plan. Let's see what happens. All right, there goes our Sam's Club over there. Let us see. My mom came to Sam's Club, or I don't know where she went. And she went early for the senior hours. And no, she went at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. before the senior hours even existed or anything because oh, there was yeah. lines she of people like there is right here. Wow, there are lines of people. Oh, my God. Once again, if someone tells us, you can't be here because you're not disabled or a senior. I'm sorry. I'll try really hard not to, to bite somebody's head off. Be like, excuse you? Holy crap. Is there even enough toilet paper? Is there enough toilet paper? Is this truly social distancing? Alright. Oh, they have an area, I think, to make sure you're not going to be sick. No, those are for senior oh, citizens yeah. that, like, if you want, they will carry the groceries yeah. to you and go get everything for you. Okay, many of you guys may be asking, why don't you just call to order or something like that? We have tried. Paul, what was the issue with that? It was, like, days wait and not even. Some of them, you have to wait several days um, to be able to get it. And also, online ordering does not give you everything in the store. Yeah. So, there are certain things that we do need that we could not find online. Toilet paper. Um, as well as certain types of food, certain types of snacks, stuff like that. Some of them are not available online. And then the things that are available online have pickup days for like a week out. Yeah. And we don't want to wait another week when the virus gets even worse. We want to kind of do it now. Alright guys, we're going to head in there because we need to make a stupid line. Alright guys, I literally forgot how to vlog on my phone. But this is insane. Look at that sexy beast. Yeah, I'm talking about Paul. <laughs> Who else? If Ryan was there, then I'd be like, oh yeah, walk that strut. I think we should get a cart. Can we get a cart? Oh, I think the carts are more ahead. Yeah, they're distributing them out slowly, but surely. It is cold. She's cold, not me. And it's early in the morning. Yeah, I'm always cold. Always. It's fun here, wearing masks. I find it funny with my mask, because it looks like I have elf ears. Yeah, because they stick out. Or they like come pointy. Oh yeah, because they blow on your ears. I look like yeah. an elf. I couldn't wear that mask. It literally looked like a little mini thing on my face. It was so funny. Maybe they have mask here. Doubt it. Like, maybe like a mask like this? My sister is making masks, supposedly. I can't um, wait to show you guys this. Yeah, she bought a sewing machine, bought some supplies, even bought like the little carbon filters, everything. So, uh, hopefully soon, we can have our own masks. All right, guys, fun little tip here. You look at us, we look perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. Quote, unquote, healthy. Exactly. I'm standing in this line and I feel so sick. Like, sometimes my nausea is very crippling and I don't want to move. And certain things such as this becomes difficult. All right, Boo. He sees yeah. my struggle. Yeah, I see it. It sucks, but this is what we must do for food right now. Thanks, Rona. Look at the line of people. Yeah, it goes pretty back there. You can't tell, but more and more people long. keep showing up. As the like, hours go later and later. What time is it actually? I don't know. Wait, wait. Seven thirty-three. Have it that no one can just go wherever they want to go. All right, Paul's like, I'm going wherever I go. Let's start. Wow, the jewelry's all gone. Let's start loading. Paul's walking really fast. Holy crap. Let's start looting. Yes, I did. <laughs> I have no shame. Oh, yeah, this is some nice uh, shopping here. No one needs to bother us. We got this. 
We found some toilet paper. It's limited on. one per customer. Oh, did it? Yeah, it's limited one per customer. Holy crap. All right, well, we didn't need that much anyway. I'm looking for some hand towels. I can find some guys. See if I could get any here. We are buying my favorite cereal. And I didn't notice until now. Call me stupid. This is everywhere. You cannot buy more than two of these items, which is. You have to remember that, like, some people are panic buying. So they'll come here and be like, oh, I need six boxes of this gigantic cornflakes. And then I they agree. leave other people who actually need food with nothing. And then you have all of this stocked up for months and months and months. Yeah. So I understand why they're putting limits on stuff. That cereal looks good too. All right. Which cereal you want, honey buns? You gonna find yours? Uh, no, I'm good, but All right. Yeah, yeah, they don't have the one that I like here, so Got okay. it. He likes Cocoa Puffs. All I right, do. Paul's a chocolate guy. I do. For for cereal, Cocoa Puffs, the Reese's Puffs, that's it. Those are the ones. Agree to disagree, but... Agree. Uh, I find that disgusting. Agree, woman. So as you guys can see, we are starting to pack up our stuff. There is a lot of water. <laughs> Look at that. That's like all water right there, guys. People are stacking up on the weirdest things ever. You really Just don't need little. 15 cases of water in your house right now. Um, you can still use your water, and if you really need to, you can boil the water that you need. So. I'm not a savage. What are you talking about? Oh, wow. What is all that? Is that supposed to be something? That's body wash. Wow. Guys, if you want a to-go at-home snack, <laughs> those chips, bro. Those chips. I've been looking for them. Flavored Swiss barbecue. Honey barbecue. So They're actually good. really good. They really are. How did I, really, like, fall in love with I don't them? like Fritos. You I'm not them. a Frito person, but those, perfect. Yeah. cleaned everything we have sanitized everything even our bodies and our faces yep and we're good now if you guys see you know that time lapse that beautiful time lapse of paul cleaning there is a part that you kind of see paul give like a dirty look and it's like what is going on because during that time lapse yeah a couple things happened we were leaving sam's club and there was this gentleman yelling and screaming at the associate to let him in because there was still a line and we go to our car it's none of our business and we're starting to clean everything and the guy got in his car and started driving around the parking lot whatever and he was with his wife so we believe and he stops next to us and just starts pointing and screaming inside the car like we couldn't yeah. really hear him and i just went like hi like can we help you and paul's just giving a dirty look honestly i think he was not happy that he couldn't go into the store because it was still senior and disability hour so you had to make a line and paul thinks he heard him say well i'm not here for toilet paper let me just go on in and i'm pretty sure he saw us and was like why are these kids here because he was also saying that he's like are you sure is it 60 and older are allowed in here only so i'm pretty sure he looked at us and kind of discriminated nope. and that is fine you know i think it's it not the first time not yeah. gonna be the last either honestly guys it sounds bad but we mainly get discriminated by um elderly people for sure. The dirty looks we have received from parking in the disability parking spots and Janice with her service dog and not feeling good and people still look like, you don't need that. Oh, actually I do. <laughs> Only my medical team can tell me if I need something or no. <laughs> it's nothing new to us. We overcome it and I think it would have gotten worse if he really would have said something. You know? Oh, I was ready. Oh, I, yeah, had, I had like see three that face or four locked like... and loaded. I was like, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. Oh, but you have no idea. I had so many locked and loaded and ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I feel like when Paul has that face on, everybody backs away from him like, oh. So, I think it worked out for this guy because he just had it. He's like, what? Yeah, I'm not one to be trifled with when it comes down to my health or my wife's health. No. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't mess with me. All right, guys. So we are home. We did a great haul. Literally, Voila. When, when Paul opened this up, it just smells of alcohol. I'm like, Shut up. Clean. Smells good. Stay Breathe it in. Oh it cleanses you from the inside out. 
That's weird. All right, guys, and this is where we're gonna end it. It is early in the morning. We're gonna take a chill now, unpack and unwind. So, guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.